Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. So I've been looking for a running shoe for quite some time now. And I've been looking for a black one or a gray one, one that does not get dirty really easily. So I found one uh, with a collab between Nike and Balmain's creative director, Oliver Roosting. And he's a French designer. And this one I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. So I was looking for a black running shoe and I found it. But I did not want a complete black shoe. I wanted some accents of certain colors like black and red, black and yellow, black and gold like this one. Something that sets it apart from everything else. So I really want to take a look at it. Let's start with the box. So a good thing that I like about this one is that everything is black. The shoe is black. The black box here is black all over the place except the side where we have a golden Nike logo. And on the front, it reads, Nike free fly knit, mercurial, Oliver Roosting. I got on a size 11 and the color is black, black metallic gold. So this is the one thing that I like about boxes nowadays is that just keep it simple, just keep it clean like this one. Everything is black except a little golden logo at the side of the box. Uh, other than that, we have the same type of style like the Jordan 11 and a few other uh, box that was released recently as well. You have a little pull tab and then you just pull it out. So let's take it out. So here we got the new Nike Free Mercurial with a collaboration with Oliver Roosting. So at first glance, this shoe looks great. This is exactly what I've been looking for. It's all black with a few accents of gold scattered from the side and the back and a little bit on the front. And it's just an excellent shoe. It's lightweight, it's comfortable. So why wait? Let's take a look at it. The front toe box is all black. So if we move up from the toe box, we have thin black laces that blends perfectly with the rest of the shoe. And at the top of the laces, we have gold plated tips. So this shoe does not have a typical tongue. It just blends perfectly with the rest of the shoe and it goes up here towards the sock-like construction. And at the top, we have a leather heel tab and it's really easy to just put your finger in and put these shoes on. And on the middle of the pull tab, we have a golden circle. Really nice add a little touch. So let's take a look at the side of the shoe. The entire upper of this shoe is made out of fly knit. And I gotta say, I love everything flying it. It creates a super lightweight shoe. So if you're out running or walking, this one is just great. So at the top of the shoe, we have a sock-like construction and this one is really, really stretchy. And I got to say that this feels great. I tried it on just a little bit to see what it felt like. And I got to say, I love it. And in the middle, we have a little bit of the same design like the flying it over here, here as well. And it just blends perfectly with the rest of the shoe. And if we go down towards the middle part of the shoe, we have the major thing that pops on this shoe. We have six golden embroidered parts, these lines that really makes this shoe pop. And I gotta say that I'm not normally a really big fan of gold on shoes or clothes, but on this one, it really blends perfectly because it's not super shiny. It's kind of, um, uh, perfect for this shoe. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's just excellent. So all the details on this shoe has a really luxurious feeling to it. The black and the gold has a dynamic vibe together and I really love it. But what do you guys think about it? Do you think it's too much? Do you don't like it at all? Maybe you love it? Leave a comment down below and let's discuss this shoe. So towards the back of the shoe at the heel, we have a little small golden embroidered logo, the swoosh logo. And in my opinion, I think that this is perfect. I'm glad that they kept it a smaller logo instead of a bigger one because it creates a more subtle look. Do you agree? So the missile on this shoe is a Nike Free 5.0. And normally I have a Nike Free 3.0 when I go to the gym and all, that one is super comfortable. But I gotta say that this one is even more comfortable. So I couldn't be gladder, perfect. On the outside of the shoe, it says 5.0. And on the inside, it says Nike Free. So if we take a look at the back of the shoe, we have a really big golden sip. And normally, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of a lot of gold, but here they've made it more subtle. It's not super shiny. So 
it's not that bad for me. I actually like it. Like the top part, this one is really shiny, but it's just a smaller part of the entire shoe, so it works out for me. There's leather all the way from the top, all the way down to the midsole. So if we take a look inside of the shoe, uh, when I first tried to put it on, I was like, ooh, it might be a little hard to put on, but no. So when I use this one and I actually push my foot in, not a problem at all. So there's a leather sock liner to give it a more luxurious feeling. At the heel part of the sock liner, we see a round circle and with a golden swoosh logo in the middle. So it's been a while since I've seen the information label being placed underneath the sock liner. You can see it right here. So if we take a look underneath this excellent shoe, the entire outsole of the shoe is black, except a small white Nike logo in the middle towards the back. The outsole seems to get great traction while running or walking with the large square parts around the outsole. Let's take a close up look. Let's see what this one looks like on feet. So how should I sum up this shoe? It's just a simple, excellent, great shoe with excellent traction. It looks good with the black and gold. For me, it's an excellent running shoe or if you wanna have it as a walking shoe because a lot of designers nowadays, they have running shoes for everyday life, like a lifestyle sneaker. So I simply love it. What do you guys think about it? Thanks for watching everyone. This is a shoe that I've been waiting for a long time. Not this specific shoe, but a running shoe that's black, that won't get dirty really easily, but also with something that pops. So the gold and the black works perfectly together. Excellent. So hit that subscribe button above and don't forget to leave a big thumbs up.
And like always, thanks for watching. See you next week.